Good morning, folks. Today we're analyzing space weather both at the Sun and Earth. We're seeing some interesting updates to two different stories from yesterday, a look at what the planets are doing, and a catastrophic agricultural disaster in Europe. Albuquerque observers, I'll see you in just a couple of hours over on the east side of the city, but let's get started now with spaceweathernews.com and find anxiety on the eastern limb, but no eruptions in the Earth-directed positions. Big coronal hole facing us as well. The solar flaring, still very low, but the flat line is gone as new sunspots begin to mature on the incoming solar longitudes. Not much magnetic mixing to be easily spotted as of yet, but development may not be unexpected this weekend as the primary solar conjunction comes into play. In just three days, Mercury and Venus will be heliocentrically conjoined, aligned from the sun's point of view. Watch for an uptick. Solar wind is calming now, but look at that hitch in the stream. Even though it was of slightly lower speed, it was another shockwave as the small CME that erupted three days earlier. We did have another magnetic storm pop up as the CME coupled with reverberations from the previous day. Global and isolated disruptions were noted, including a plasma penetration event into our system. The big coronal hole center disk is what is driving those speedy streams and continues to drive an uptick of rare location quakes. Western Australia joining the Western United States during this minor uptick. So over the last couple of nights, bad weather has exploded over the plains, the Midwest, and surrounding areas. From hail to tornadoes and flooding, there is a wide path of effect across the states. However, it is nothing compared to what happened in Spain this week. We are looking at 100% crop losses in some areas, pears and apples somehow vastly more affected than the cherries. Many farmers already reported total loss events. Yesterday we saw the shockwave in the Crab Nebula. Well here's a video of what that looks like over time, electromagnetic rings with a pulsar and cosmic jet in the center. This video is linked for you below, along with the latest from Dr. Roy Spencer. Despite the hot month in the United States in June, it was cooler globally. In fact, as La Nina replaces the record El Nino conditions, we're seeing a tremendous drop in global temperature. At the end, that nearly impossible red hitch back up is what we would need to see to have the hottest year ever. Not likely. While the typhoon has moved on to China to add to the flooding concerns already there, we'll have our eyes on the East Pacific systems this week as they head west for Hawaii. Eyes open there. Before the Albuquerque Hangout this morning, we will be recording our weekly podcast, Fly on the Wall. We're going to be reviewing our top subjects today and diving deep once again, well beyond what we discuss in these short morning news. We've got pressure and radar in our top viewer locations, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.